we're back with another episode of the third charm episode 12 the last episode was so boring i wanted to cry <laughs> they had a lot of montages very picturesque artsy shots he started dating officer min long distance his sister had a baby i don't know exactly how long it's been yet but we'll probably find out uh, i think it was about three years but i'm not sure the baby's a toddler now. Maybe it's it's somewhere between like three and five years, I think. I love drama, it's so dramatic. So people go to this restaurant for reservations for their wedding anniversary and stuff like that, dating anniversaries, so. Young Jay and Plastic Surgeon Man, they must be um, having some sort of anniversary. Your candle's flaccid. Did they leave? I would've left, I would've been like, no, we're not eating here, It'd be your ex. 잠깐 앉을래? 어 그러세요. 오랜만에 만났는데. 아니요. 두분 말씀 나누세요. 에그 타르트가 나올 줄 몰랐네. She's still the same. Is everybody still the same? Nobody changes and, and grows mm. in this show. Well, I guess Young Jae did change. She got worse over time. 당신 마음 하나 얻기 위해서 정말 별짓을 다 했는데. She's like talking to a wall. 엄마. <laughs> They're not together. It was a red herring. Well, I already know she doesn't like him. Like, she clearly doesn't like him. So I was like, why are they together? Just for the controversy? <laughs> Are you serious? Wait, no. She got married and divorced in that short amount of time to a guy she clearly didn't like? No way. No, 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 no. Explain yourself. You know, I really miss my favorite character, telescopic baton. Yeah, yeah, he does come across that way. So, I really want to do this one. MJ, this is a little bit of a mistake. How do you feel about it? Yeah, yeah. I think this character has been given to this role. And... It's too soft. I don't know. How would he know? You don't even you didn't even know his real name. 언니랑 오빠는 하나도 안 변했네. 아야, 어지간해서는 안 변하는 게 사람이야, 원래. 잘 나간다고 싸가진 바가지에다가 이왕 할 거면 우리 정연 팀 전에 시골님은 딱 좋은데. 전형적인 롱디 연애 패착인데. 언니, 운준영에 대해 잘 모르고 결혼이라는 위험한 선택을 하는 게 아닐까 싶네. 야, 모르긴 왜 몰라. I mean, his sister's annoying as hell, but she had a point for once. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. At least she smiles at her daughter. That's that's a good sign. Why is what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Oh, he wants to get married. 
이 철골 주차장도 그 새로운 주인 만나서 번듯한 새로운 주인 만나서 식당으로도 살아보고 <웃음> 목에 좋다고 그런 머리 팍뿌리 될 때까지 못 붙어 있어서 안달 복달이신가 Because you guys have a kid together? Hello? 내 동거인으로 나쁘지 않지 너만 좋으면 다야? 최대한 많은 사람들 앞에서 이쁘게 턱시도 있고 최대한 성대하게 온리언은 내 여자다! 눈썹 정리에 손톱 관리까지 받던 남자였는데 애 키우는데 이 정도면 영화지? 자유로운 영혼이었는데 She's such a bitch <웃음> Holy shit Such a bitch Something please happen Please 정영사님? 아니, 애가 차에 치인 것도 아닌데 왜 이래? He's not her responsibility. Why do they always call him? 아니, 저, 내가 괜히 연락을 했나? No, you shouldn't have called him. 아니에요, 잘하셨어요. No. 이게 뭐냐, 주부가. 인스턴트 차. 너 남편이 뭐라 안 해? 나 이혼했어. 밥을 먹지 뭐 이런 걸 먹냐. Happy people becoming miserable, miserable people becoming happy. Interesting, but depressing. 나 미스포에 살았었거든. 아 정말? 아니 너 피해 가운데 근처 살았다고? 응. 나 거기 진짜 많이 오는 거야? 어떻게 한 번도 안 만나냐? 나그 광장 거의 맨날 다녔었거든. Wait, wait, did they have a kid and the kid died? Oh no! This has gotten very depressing. Isn't this a comedy? Isn't this a rom-com? <laughs> this can't happen. Wow. Chef, how did you get it? I was very sad and sad. I ate a lot of spicy food. It's not just the food. 배만 채우는 게 아니라 사람의 마음을 따뜻하게 채워줄 수 있구나. 나는 이 레스토랑이 그런 레스토랑이었으면 해. 너는 거기서 뭐 했어? 저 리쇼 더 프리비어스 에피소드 well throwing in some new stuff here and there trying to fill in the blanks of what happened so not as boring as the last episode i want to talk for a bit about the terrible writing in this show i think episode 12 the whole episode was a very good example of one of the horrible atrocities the writers are making with this drama and that is how the writers think they just need to throw as many traumas in as possible in order to get some emotional response from the audience. That's not how it works. <laughs> more dramas doesn't mean more tears from us. I think the only time where I actually felt like a, a true tearjerker moment in this show so far was the very first trauma that happened when her brother fell off a four-story building and became paralyzed. That was shocking. And what made it so shocking was how that traumatic scene was juxtaposed with the previous scenes of the first two episodes, which were very goofy and lighthearted and very rom com -y and cute. It suddenly became dark and very real. So now they think, since it worked so well the first time, let's keep doing it. But it just doesn't hit the same way. There is no stark contrast anymore. Ever since that first trauma happened, the drama's been kind of on the depressing side. <laughs> Especially with this toxic relationship. I think what happened is the writers realized how unlikable the female lead is now, and they're trying to redeem her by giving her all these traumas that justify her behavior due to her PTSD that she developed from the traumas. 
but it doesn't work because she already has an established personality and her personality has been consistent throughout the whole show so far. She didn't need traumas to explain her behaviors before, so it's just not believable. It's only creating a very pathetic and unrealistic character. I mean, think about all the trauma that this girl went through and how unrealistic that all this could happen to one person. Her parents are dead. Her brother loses his legs and she becomes the man of the house at a young age. She loses her first love, regrets it, and he disappears for like three years. And then she marries a man she doesn't even like just to have a kid with him that ends up getting killed. With all these traumas, you might as well just throw in cancer too while you're at it. It's completely ridiculous how many bad things they had happen to this one person. I mean, maybe if she had a miscarriage, that would have been more believable. I, I might have given it a pass. But no, her kid gets hit by a car. I mean, what are the chances? How about just pick one or two good traumatic events and then write a good story around how those traumatic events shape their lives and shape their personalities and how they have to overcome all of that trauma and grow into a better person. Don't just keep piling on the trauma. <laughs> Ugh. The therapy will never end at this rate. Another update of the third charm character mood progression tier list. <laughs> I updated some photos on here. I added Snakehead. Alright, so Junyang. I felt bad for him, honestly. I really did. We saw him trying to change his life around, trying to grow as a person for once, instead of being stuck for seven years, dwelling on the past, and found a purpose, which is great. I don't utterly detest him anymore. It's amazing. Um, I'm gonna actually move him down to unlikable. <laughs> he's still unlikable, but like he's, he's shown some character development, actually. I am surprised by that. Before, I was so confused by his character because he's definitely not somebody that would be a police officer. And I was like, why did the writers make him a police officer? It doesn't make any sense. He should be a chef. That would make more sense because he likes cooking. Because there was multiple scenes where he was doing a lot of cooking. And now, now he is becoming a chef. So now his character is making more sense, I guess. So that's good. <laughs> and he's not toxic. He's chilling out, but I do think his feelings, well, I don't even think he has feelings for Officer Min. I think he just likes her because she likes him. It's kind of like the same thing that was going on between Yong Jae and Jun Young, where he is basically the Officer Min in that relationship where he likes her, but she doesn't really like him that much. He's passionate, she's not. So now he's in another relationship, um, except the roles are reversed. She's passionate and he's not. Uh, let's see how long they'll last. I mean, it seems like they've lasted longer than four months. <laughs> but it's long distance, so that's, you know, a little different. His best friend, okay. He was horrible. But now that he's with Jun Young's sister, his personality has completely changed. He's, he's like a girl now. And she's the guy. But she's not just any guy. She's like a toxic masculine guy. It's very strange. Um, so I'm moving her. I hate her. I completely hate her. I wanna, yeah, she's, she's horrible. She is such a bitch. Let me see, this guy, he actually started to become like a legitimate character. And he was like comic relief in the background. Um, but now that he's developed a personality, like a very clear, distinct personality, they've completely thrown him away. Wow disposable characters all around. This drama is notorious for just throwing away characters. So bye bye See you later. Um, you ended up here. That's great for you. But you were disposable, as were you. Uh, uh, uh. Well, no, I'll keep him there. You were disposable. All the police characters except for Officer Min. Actually, she's probably going to be disposable too. They'll probably throw her away once they use her for the purpose of whatever they want to do between the leads. She was thrown away a long time ago. Plastic Surgeon Man looks like he's being thrown away too. He's in the process of being disposed of. 
Like, he's staying at Unlikable. He wasn't in it much in the past few episodes. Officer Min. She's unlikable. She's a coward. I don't know why she's trying so hard to be with some guy who doesn't like her. She has no personality. She has no character development. She seems like a disposable character, and that's why she's unlikable. <laughs> she, they don't even care. The writers don't even care to really build her her character up because she's so disposable. Ah, this character. I didn't even bother to update her photo, but she made an appearance, and I still have no feelings toward her. It was she was basically she basically just made an appearance to explain what happened between them. The parents, I really like the parents. The parents are the most sensible people in this drama, and honestly, these parents are probably the most normal, chill parents I've ever seen in a Korean drama. It's pretty refreshing, actually. I really relate to the dad. He he is probably the most normal character in the drama, <laughs> which is really sad because the parents barely have any screen time. <laughs> And I relate to him the most. Oh, that's 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 very telling. Unfortunately, another throwaway character. We hate to see it. Honestly, the best character in the drama ended up being a throwaway character. How could they do that to telescopic baton? Very disrespectful. Still surprisingly likable. He's keeping his spot. I'm not throwing. I won't throw you away, telescopic baton. Let's start with Snakehead. Um, Snakehead was a strange, a strange throwaway character. I was shocked at what they did with this character, and not in a good way. <laughs> I, I am appalled. This guy is a drug dealer, criminal. I don't know if he's murdered anybody, but I mean, he did have a toothbrush <laughs> to Officer Min's throat just like the week before. And then he gets a redemption arc out of nowhere just to normalize toxic relationships. Again, again, normalizing toxic relationships. Why? It was so strange. This character was in the show so Jun Young could relate to him. They're having a police officer who doesn't have a criminal record, you know, is an upstanding citizen, they're having him relate to a drug dealing criminal who holds women hostage and stalks his ex girlfriend. That blew my mind. <laughs> I have never seen something so toxic before. I'm I'm shocked. I'm shocked. It's not the character's fault. It's the writer's fault. So I don't utterly detest him as a character. I detest his purpose. I just, I'll keep him at completely annoying. Anyway, let's move on. This is, he is, his storyline's a train wreck. This whole show is a train wreck. <sighs> it's Young Jay's brother. Now he dresses like Emma Swan from Once Upon a Time and he thinks he's a hot shot. Uh, if I didn't hate him before, I, I hate him now. He's so arrogant and it blows my mind. This, this is another thing that I can't comprehend what they've done with this character. They made an unlikable character completely horrible. Um, and let's do Yong Jae's best friend. She unfortunately hasn't had any luck. She's stuck with a guy that's a, a selfish jerk. She's basically his caretaker and he doesn't seem very appreciative. She's, she's becoming pathetic, unfortunately. It's sad to see. Because she was such a good character before. I'm going to keep her here for now. We haven't really seen too much of her since then. I'm sad that the one of the good things about the show is, is being lost. Okay, Young Jae. I don't know how a rom-com got this depressing. Um, honestly, it's like we're starting over with her. I'm like, I don't know how. I don't know how she's going to be now. Is she going to be unlikable? Or is she going to be sometimes likable? I'm gonna put her at unlikable right now because, oh gosh, that thing that she does where she won't talk and she just stares, she's like talking to a wall. Like I hate, I hate watching people having conversations with her because it's very one-sided. 
they will do all the talking and she'll just be sitting there listening and not even responding in any way or just like these really long drawn out moments of silence where she she won't talk and then she'll finally say something and it's something really short and depressing so yeah she's becoming unlikable boy this is how we're stacking up so far i can't believe it i can't believe it